Hey everyone! Well, today's our special occasion. It's the 100th tarantula feeding video that I posted on YouTube. Yee hee! And this is also the 1700th video that I upload on YouTube. So it's the 28th of January. My teas have not been fed since uh, New Year's. So it's time to feed all the teas. And I'll go in no particular order. Okay, so the very first tea that we're going to feature in all this important feeding video is my Vicularia urticans, the giant Peru pink toe. Cat, she's like a six inch female. Yeah, she likes to hide. Yeah, she's over there. Awesome. This is the new fresh eat in my collection, the Acanthoscuria suina, also known as the sulfur brown bird eater. It's a two and a half inch confirmed female. That a girl. Unbelievably calm for an Acanthoscuria. So this is going to be a mouthful to pronounce, Ethmostigmus trigonopotus, the blue ring centipede. Uh, it's around like five inches. It's the very first time I feed the centipede in my care. Oh, there we go. That's a nice shot. Ooh, freaky. Alright, here is Star. She is one fat P. Lagardi, the Fort Hall baboon. Beautiful. Four and a half inch uh, confirmed female. Well, my OBT seems to be very busy with the webbings and stuff. Holy crap, that's a serious webber. Alright, let's go feed her. This is a pupated beetle. Crunch. Yeah, there's the legs. About five inches. Now, oh, there's another heavy weapon that I'll add to my list, other than that my green bottle blue and the C. guanasiensis. Alright, this one here is my Phlogius crassy peeps, the Australian whistling spider from Queensland, Australia. She's like Athena. Oh, this time she got it. Awesome. About a five inch female. Yeah, just like to burrow. Alright, this is my beautiful female, Eupalestris tempestratus, the pink zebra beauty. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely very hungry. Doesn't look like she has a bald spot. Kind of weird. Here is Wendy, one of my three Grandma Sola Pulker Peas, Choco Golden Bee. About three and a half inches. Next up, Scolopundra subspinips. Mutalins, that's that centipede. Uh, the Vietnamese red legged. Alright, first time feeding this specimen. Ooh. Look at it, Chase. Oh, 
Oh, come on. There we go. It needed some help. And that's how they do it. Now the centipede is injecting venom into it and just like a normal tea the prey liquefies and they just slurp it up like a milkshake. Okay so here's Petunia. She is my Brachypelma classy Mexican pink. Yeah, she always eats. Five inch beast. Here's Derek, my male Canthuscuria geniculata, Brazilian giant white knee. As hungry as ever. Here's Genesis, ex Imanus, the Colombian lesser black. See how he attacks. There we go. Yeah. Love his carapace markings. Here's Josie. She is a Samopolis Erminia, the Venezuelan sun tiger. Female. You can grab it. Oh, you missed. Right to the left. That a girl. Come on. Yeah, there's her colors. She does need to molt. Well, it was a shame that my trapdoor spider wasn't interested in food. So now I'm going to try to feed my Pokey to Green Wasselli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental Tina. There we go, beautiful. Alright, P. Miranda, the Bengal Spotted Ornamental. Ooh, that was a nice one. You're really hard to see. Yeah, that's definitely P. Miranda. Raised ever since she was about an inch sling. Doing awesome. It's Dramatopelma calciatum, the feather like baboon. This is an adult female. I don't think she's interested in that. You can see she's already in threat pose. Typical S. calciatum like behavior. I don't think we're going to see much of feeding. Ooh, she just struck. Not a happy tea. This one here is my Pocotheria smithy, the yellow-backed ornamental. Allison, who is very nervous. Okay, so let's see. We can get a worm for her. Ooh, I've got a nice cut. Got a nice footage of the fangs. Yeah, this is what a P. Smithy looks like. Yeah, this is a confirmed female. 
At least that's a good thing. One of my El Parahibana females, the Sand Pink Bird Eater. Got some nice you know, juicy worm for her. Instantly. Alma, my other LP female. She's getting up in size. There we go. <laughs> she looks extremely hairy from here. Well, it's snowing outside. And we're gonna feed this Hadascardra maculata, the Togra Starbus baboon. Uh, this is Grishina. Excellent. H. maculata. Very beautiful African arboreal. Nandu chromatis, the white striped bird eater. Nandi has like a four and a half inch female. Oh, nice. It's been a while since she last ate on camera. But well, that's good. One of the most heaviest web builders in my collection is my Chinese fawn, Kilobrachys guanaciensis. This is Julin, she's like a five and a half inch female. And usually quite hungry too. Yeah, she got it. Yeah, that's what she looks like. Nice brown tea. Okay, my big Rufalata female is here. The pokey. Let me just, uh... Okay, super worm. I just missed it. Sorry about that, guys. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, this pocket camera isn't the most versatile one. I wish I kind of had lighting in here. Oh yeah, she's a chunky monkey. Just like seven inches, extremely leggy for a pokey. All right, here's Charlotte, my largest poker piece. She's around five and a half close to six inches. Come on, there we go. Nice job. Here's uh, Pink Floyd, the mature male E. capristratus that really should mate with my female. He's usually a very good eater. Here's one of my baby Tapnikinia Senti Vincenti that I raised. Yeah. Seem to be doing well. Yeah, so this is the fruit of my success last year from all raising all of those tappies and Pokey Regalis. I got a Senti Vincenti in here. I got a Regalis here. Hard to see. Oh. Just say, there's the second one. Hopefully, both of these are male. Alright, so I can't really expect this one to eat, but we'll uh, give it a shot anyway. Uh, this is my Babacurus uh, Gigas, the giant rusty thick tail. Yeah, 
Actually, it might be too large for this uh, uh, female. Which doesn't seem to live it of eating. So we'll give it a couple of seconds and see if she decides to eat. You know, scorpions really are kind of shy eaters and you don't really see them meat very often. Especially when you're right in front of it, they can actually sense you or uh, the camera too. Yeah, as I figured, nothing. This is another one that I won't promise that you might be able to see eat. Uh, this is the Galeodes granti, the Egyptian camel spider. I'm giving her a super worm. Because uh, it seems to be a little bit slower than crickets. It's really cool. But I guess nothing. She's in a typical threat pose. All right, now for a pair of Grandma Stola Pulcra, Brazilian black. Here's Roy that I rehoused recently. Uh, he's the male. There we go, awesome. And my big behemoth female, Ebony. We'll uh, give her a try. I don't think she'll eat, but we'll see. She's like seven inches. Third largest Gramasola next to Poker Peas and Grossa. Oh, she can eat this time? It'd be awesome if she does. Yeah, look at these fangs, look how huge they are. Awesome. Now, these fangs are like three quarter inch long. They're almost as big as a T-stermy. Just imagine getting bitten by that. Very, very, very scary. Huge fangs. Almost as big as Gretel's. Yep, she's like seven inches. Huge. Everyone's popular G. Rosea. Rose hair. This is Michaela, she's like six inches. Ah, I'll say five and a half, really. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, my pair of Bracky Palma Smithy, the Mexican Red Knee. We'll see how Athena does. Oh, she's coming. Come on, Athena. Good girl. Now for our beloved Scarlet. 
Usually she loves supers. I guess she's not hungry. Oh, guess not. I uh, guess not interested. All right, let's move on to the next one. One for two ain't bad. All right, this one here is a Pseudohoplopus species long-haired, formerly known as C. schmardae, yellow-banded bird eater. And this is Larry, a male. Let's see if he's going to eat it. There we go, good boy. Nice. Here I have a pair of Brachypalma erratum, the Mexican flame knee. Uh, this is Leon, the male. And this is Claire, my female. Ooh. Sure hungry, Claire's sure putting on some weight. I bought two of these half inch slings and both male and female. Very lucky. Here's Morris Rose, G. rosea red form. Juvenile, he's a male. He's like no tomorrow. There you have it. Now for my largest uh, tea in my collection. A big, bad, Theraphosa Sturmi, Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. So, she's going to get two supers. There's the first one. She's going to get the second one. There's there. There's the fangs. Almost as large as my pulchra. You can see why it's not the real blondie because it doesn't have the patella hairs. Oh well, close enough. Okay, so back for a new one now. I just uh, ate some supper. Now it's time to feed the remaining teas. So this is the Pulchotheria metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Mia, she's a four and a half inch female. Awesome. Here's the epigatric furrow. Pretty visible. Santa Femelle. She's huge. Sweet. Here's the Brachypalma albiceps that I rehoused recently, the one that I believe to be a suspect male. Let's see if uh, he'll eat. Awesome. If only my larger female had the appetite of yours. We'd be in business. This one here is a Cardopholus Ramsey Cuban Pygmy. Yep. Got that one. Here's Ocean, 
an Oligosteri diamantinensis, the Brazilian blue dwarf beauty. Oh darn it. Yeah. And they are that quick, guys. Mini GBB. Uh, this one here is Daniela, my LP female. She was a half an inch sling back four years ago. Still growing like a weed. Here is Kalinka, Brachypalma verdezi female. This is called the Mexican Rose Gray. Huh, very gentle. Ephobos rufescens, the burgundy skeleton. He's usually a quick eater. And there we go. Let's say around two inches now. And here's the male, the Verdezi Dr. Cossack. <laughs> He's lazy. Yeah, sure putting up a good fight though. Well, it looks like I received a molt from my Cobalt Red Rump, Thrixopalma uh, Sanulum. It's really hard to make out the colors because of the camera but it does have like kind of bluish like legs really cool all right let's try a Trinidad Chevron some of those Cambridge eye Here we go. Yeah, this camera is getting bigger now. Uh, this one here is the Haplopus species Columbia Large, the pumpkin patch. Amazing. That's what they look like. Mine's about an inch and a half and showing its full adult coloration. Let's see some larger teas. It's my Spawn from Hell, Jezebel, P. Cancerides. Haitian Brown Bird Eater. This one here is a Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater, Lassidora Klugi. Nice job. Here is a Lassidora Fracta, Brazilian Smoky Gray Bird Eater. There we go, it took a couple of tries. But it looks like Willow definitely got it. Yep, hair kicking as always. All right, here's Darius, my Nandu Tripepi, giant blonde bird eater, and as you can see, he's got a very dark bald spot on the abdomen, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is in pre molt. So I will not be feeding him until he does molt. A week later. So I'll keep you posted on this one. 
All right, this is Tap Gigas, orange tree spider. This is my female. I'm trying to get a cricket. Come see, come saw. And this is the male. Grabbed it. P. fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental. This is a male. First feeding after his molt. All right, this is Pocotheria hanuma villa simica, the ramashwarm ornamental. Just recently rehoused this girl. Grabbed it. This one here is a P. Pedersenny Ghost Ornamental. Yeah, snatched it. Not too bad this guy's another male. I need to have a female one of these days. Hope I can find one soon. Alright, let's try to feed that Linotheli. There we go. Awesome. Uh, the Linotheli megatheloides, this is the Brazilian diplorid, it's first feeding in my care. Yeah, it did a swell job. Alright, let's try to feed my Formictopus platus, which is known as the Caribbean Island Bird Eater. Whoa! Yeah, sure got that one quick. And these are totally fearless species. And there's uh, my Viridacea species, that fishing spider. Had to feed him off camera because I had to get Kirkus in there and she was hiding in that cocoon of hers. I don't know if this one will leap, but I'll include in the video a lot of request for this one the Filipino orange the Orphanaceous uh, Filipinus formerly known as a Selenobrachis species better close that lid This is for my Filipino subscribers. Oh, not interested. Oh well. Next. Okay, so this is for my Indian subscriber named Rahul. A glimpse of the P. muticus. My only king baboon. The other one I had previously named Alice. That previously passed away a couple of months ago, so it's probably just the only one I have left right now. Oh, not interested. Okay, just two more and that's it. Alright, last two. So this is Peach. My last Grama Solo Poker piece, Chaka Goldney, female. And Last, and certainly not least, Isabella the Spawn from Hell. <laughs> Ooh, she's jumpy today. Yeah, she's fat too. Uh, maybe she's not interested in food today. No, no it's not a pre-molt yet. Oh, I didn't want to end the feeding video with not her eating. Ah, there we go. You just made my day. Even if you are the spawn from hell. My totally evil 
tarantula that I have in my collection. The most aggressive. Alright, so now, as all the teas are fed now, let's do some feeding videos of the guinea pig and Maggie. Alright, now for the guinea pigs now. Here, Haley. Here, here you go. Eh, eh, no, no, no fighting. Eh, eh. Bad girl. You had yours. You had your chance. Eh? You have to share. Eh, eh, eh you like that? <laughs> She's cute. And for Maggie. I finally love to end my feeding videos with Maggie. My eight-year-old female chitsu. Okay, so I have a treat for her. Okay, sit. Sit. Paw. Other paw. Roll over. Roll over. Come on, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Come on. Roll over. High five. Alright, she's too excited. <laughs> Alright, everyone. So I do hope you enjoyed this awesome feeding video. I uh, didn't really see much of this Avix because uh, none of them were interested in eating apart for the Aerticans. And hope you liked this video in HD. So, it's going to take a while for me to edit the video. Hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching.